Welcome to video 4. We're looking at solving equations. In this video we're looking at solving equations with letters on both sides. Now the main method to solve equations when you have letters on both sides is to combine the letter terms by moving the smaller letter term first. Now there are other ways to uh, solve these equations with letters on both sides but by sticking to this rule, moving the smaller letter term first, we avoid some negative rules that uh, students often have trouble with. So trust me, this is the best method. Here's our example to have a look at, our first one. Solve 5c plus 10 equals 3c plus 30. Now obviously there are letters on both sides, otherwise we wouldn't be looking at this example. So let's have a look. We first decide which is the smaller letter term. There's a 5c term and a 3c term. I think you'll agree that the smaller letter term in this case is the 3c term. Now, we're looking to move the whole term and we know that the 3 is a positive number so we consider the whole term to be plus 3c. So what's the opposite of adding a term 3c? Well, subtracting a term 3c. So we're, in order to move that 3c term and to combine it with the 5c term, what we're going to do is subtract 3c from both sides of the equation. Now let's have a look nice and carefully. In this left-hand side we've got 5c take away 3c. Now they're like terms, so that just uh, combines to be 2c on the left-hand side. We've still got a plus 10 on that left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we have the usual situation when we're solving equations where we have uh, a positive term, 3c, and a negative term, 3c, cancelling each other out. So that's one of the main ways we simplify equations. So that leaves us on the right-hand side with just the, the plus 30. Now you'll notice on that second line of working there that we have 2c plus 10 equals 30. Now that's just a normal, typical two-step equation. And I'm hoping that you're nice and confident with those from, from here on in. And we just uh, solve the rest of the um, equation normally. We ask what number do we move next. We'll move that plus 10 next by doing minus 10 to both sides. On the left hand side the plus 10 and the minus 10 cancel each other out leaving us with that 2c on its own. On the right hand side we just do the calculation 30 minus 10 equals 20 and then we're looking to move the 2 so that the c is left on its own. The 2 is multiplying so we will divide by 2 both sides and on the left hand side the 2 that's multiplying and the 2 that's dividing will cancel each other out leaving us with the letter on its own which is the whole idea for solving equations in the end we want the letter on its own on the right hand side calculation is 20 divided by 2 equals 10 so we've started off by moving the smaller letter term first after we've done that carefully we're just faced with a normal two-step equation Second example is a little different as we see it pan out, but nothing to be too concerned about. We're solving this equation here, 3y plus 14 equals 6y minus 1. What's the smaller letter term? Now we've got a 3y and a 6y, so the smaller letter term is 3y. And it's a positive term, so we will look to subtract 3y from both sides. Now when we do that, on the left hand side we've got that cancelling down situation, 3y minus 3y cancels out, leaving us with 14 on the left hand side. On the right hand side we have a 6y take away a 3y, which leaves us with 3y, and we have a minus 1 on that right hand side. Once again, have a look at that second step, we have a two step equation, uh, and we should be nice and confident at solving them by now. If not, have a look at um, equation number two, uh, sorry, video number two for some extra practice. Next number to move. Now, uh, now usually two-step equations have the letters on the left-hand side, so at this point you may be concerned that uh, the combined letter, 
that uh, letter term, that 3y term, seems to be on the wrong side. Really, there's no such thing as the wrong side, trust me. Uh, we will sort that out nicely. We can fix this situation right at the end, and it'll be very easy to fix, trust me. The rest of the question can be solved normally, like a two-step equation. Which number do we move next? We move the minus 1 next. How do we move a minus 1? We do the opposite, plus 1 both sides. On the left-hand side we have 14 plus 1, which usually is 15. Always, really. Uh, on the right-hand side we have 3y, not affected by anything at the moment. And then a minus 1 and a plus 1 cancelling each other out. So we're left with 15 equals 3y. We want to move the 3 so that the letter's on its own. The 3 is multiplying. We want to divide by 3 both sides. Just normal solving of equations here, nothing fancy. And we're left with uh, 5 when we do the calculation on the left hand side, 15 divided by 3. On the right hand side we have a 3 cancelling with a divided by 3 leaving us with y on its own. Now it seems like that's the final answer, but um, we want the letter to be on the left hand side. So to fix this solution, not, not that hard at all, we simply swap sides. We're allowed to do that. So if 5 equals y, y equals 5, and we're done. So that's uh, solving equations with letters on both sides. If we have a really good first move by moving the smaller letter term first, and we're careful with the rest of it, not that bad. Watch the videos over and over until you get the hang of them, and uh, we'll see you next time. Hope that helps. Bye.